Brian Cox here with Greg Lundeen. Welcome back. Thank you. We're going down a different road today, one we haven't been down yet. We hope to never go down this road, I think. <laughs> if, we do, if we do, we'll cease to exist as an off-road recovery group. That's true. Um, we seem to have a lot of videos of, of how to do things. Yeah. And that, yeah. we've had several people ask what not to do. And if, well, fortunately, we don't have any store videos where it's like, wow, okay, this is what not to do. Right. We, we've been luckily we don't. Knock on wood, we, we got good operating procedure, maybe some luck, and um, so Snore doesn't have any good what not to do videos. No, we, but I'm assuming the internet does. <laughs> yes. Um, now we got snow season coming up. Yep. And we got a couple that deal with snow, one that doesn't, but sounds kind of like snow, right? I guess a little bit. You know, stuck is stuck. Whether yeah. it's mud, <laughs> sand, snow, they 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 all kind of do the same thing. Now, in fairness, these are vi some of these videos have been on the internet for twenty years, and I I try to do my research onto the original publishers. They're a bit I don't know who it is, and if they want to, I'll, I'll credit whoever it is, whether they want to be credited or not. But I'm not sure exactly. You're not when trying to tell me this guy's been stuck for 20 years, are you? No, no. It's oh. been on the internet for 20 years. Oh, okay. It's kind of like the hot crazy matrix. It's been on the internet for and nobody's. Now Nobody I know would. who I know who the publisher was originally, but it's been reproduced by so many groups that right. it gets it gets uh, lost. So these ones, I, I I tried to do the research on where these videos came from. It's lost to YouTube history yep. at this point, uh, but. They're great. Now this this looks like I, I'm gonna say that's a geostorm. Uh, it could be. I couldn't tell you. It's old and it goes back. This goes back to the '90s, I think. Um, uh, I think it's a two-wheel drive geostorm. And uh, now part of our training is how to connect to a vehicle. I got a bad feeling you're gonna tell me that bumper's not steel. <laughs> So it's not that old, because if it was real old, it'd have a steel bumper. But I, no. I got a feeling I know where this is going already. Okay. okay. So, like, for example, when we went out there, you and I, to get that old guy out there in that little Ford Ford, Ford van. van. Yeah, it was yeah. little. And you, you did it by feel, but you had to make sure you got it onto the right pieces. Yeah, I couldn't get my big body under there, so I had to kind of reach in and You got find, under there and got it. Otherwise, the arms and, right. And so, so you, yeah. but you knew where to feel for, and you got it connected safely. Right. This guy didn't. Uh oh. <laughs> so if I would have done the same connection on the Ford Transit, I think I would have had to dug, dig underneath it further to get a better look on it when you did it by feel. They did it by nothing. <laughs> so, so. Uh, here we go, let's see what happens. All right. Yeah. Almost got it. Uh-oh, that hook's right there on the back end. Is, oh, oh, no. <laughs> I, I hate to set a precedence for the rest of this video, but is this kind of like a pinata where you got to break it open to see what's inside? <laughs> What's amazing is how long that plastic bumper held on. It did. It held on for a long time. He must have been pulling with a small vehicle because something big would have ripped it in half on the first shot. <laughs> no. So that yeah. was the first what not to do. That's the first what not to do. Uh, right. Now this one here is not in the United States. I can tell by the, if you look at the license plate, yeah, European it's European. And I, they're, they're not talking what I can recognize. He's not talking French or Italian that I can tell. It sounds more of a Russian or Slavic. I'm not sure. Well, this not, this truck's even older. He looks like he has a steel bumper, so how it, is this one hooked Okay, up? so that's, well, that's the pulling vehicle, the van. Oh, oh, oh. He's not being recovered. He's the he's the genius of the, between. <laughs> gotcha. He's the genius of the operation. Now, look at that line. That looks like, to me. Looks like a steel cable tied in a knot. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also something we don't recommend. Yeah, so how much give is that steel cable going to have compared to the kinetic rope? I'm guessing about zero. Even if it's connected in the right spot, right? I think we're going to see a rapid transfer of energy from that cable to the front of that car in just a second. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, that's a long running start, too. Oh, gosh. That's not a Dodge van. That looks like something Russian. To if you're me. a country music fan, isn't there a song that says something bad's about to happen? 
Now look, that whatever they're connected to held for a little while. Yeah. He's gonna take a couple of tries. That's an Audi, by the way. That's like an Audi R5 or R6 or A5 or A6. The the bumper's holding. Look at that. It almost has it. It didn't sound good though, but you're right. It's close. <laughs> I don't even know how you hook to the bumper of the front of that car. Uh oh. <laughs> so, so there you go. Uh, Some plastics are stronger than others. Now the 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 little Geo Storm, I'm sure that's it took a it ripped half the vehicle and off, which is massive damage. Even with that Audi, I'm guessing that's three or four thousand dollars in damage. Oh, I'm sure. If it was just a normal car, it would be a lot, but. Uh, because it's an Audi, I think it's more, and then you got to get a bumper, you got to paint it. That's a lot of money. They just blew, and the the car is still not out of there. Yeah. This one here is interesting to me because look at that truck. That that looks like uh, I'm not sure, but it's got to be Australia or South Africa. That's what I was thinking, okay. Australia maybe. Um, because that you look at the the what do you call that on the back? It's a uh, a tray, not the tray. The Camper bed. The camper, box, yeah, something. the camper. They have, there's a term for it in overlanding. I forgot what it is, but they don't sell. They don't. You don't see rigs like that right. in North America. And plus, the guy's driving on the on the other side. It's got to be Australia or South Africa. I'm guessing Australia. Uh, which means this guy he looks like he has a lot of experience. Yeah. If you're gonna build that rig, he's got the rig for it. That's yeah, for sure. if you're gonna build this rig, you think it wouldn't be your first bar, your first time you put the shrimp on the Barbie, right? You know? He's seen his days in the dirt, right? Yeah, we all learned somewhere. <laughs> I think this is gonna be another learning experience. <laughs> this, one, this one is really short. Now you wonder if this guy. I'm guessing this guy didn't attach it. He said, "Hey, you you hook it up, you and I'll hook just it pull. up and I'll drive." It kind of makes more sense. All right, but. We weren't there. So this uh, is the recovery vehicle, and he's going to pull somebody that's right. else out. But, you know, that's the mystery is why would a guy with this rig let this happen unless he let the other guy attach it? Uh, this one does not go very long. And uh, Okay, here we go. <laughs> this guy got it in one pull, though. Everybody else had to hit it two or three times. <laughs> Looks like a Maserati, doesn't it? I don't know what that is. And he, look, he drug it around. He drug... <laughs> you know, you might be onto something here, Brian. We've talked about training videos. <laughs> yes. And yes. maybe by process of elimination, we can teach people what not to do, and eventually yeah. they'll get to the right. Now, in reality, I've I've been to the lake when we come out to recover an SUV. The one that was an Infinity SUV. And it had the grill completely ripped off before we got there. Yeah. So we have had instances where the damage is done before we get there. Um, there are a lot of small passenger vehicles that just don't have tow hooks. They, they don't. don't. Have solid bumpers. They and don't. You've really got to get underneath and get to something solid and be creative doing it. And even when they have a, a bull bar on there, we rarely connect to it because it generally isn't on there. You don't know what bolts are holding it on. To the extent they think it is. Right. So... I haven't been on a recovery. I'm not aware of us having any problems like this, thank goodness. But we do train for where to connect. Absolutely. And uh, if you're going to do recovery, know what you're doing. Otherwise, we'll feature you. <laughs> or, or ask somebody or take somebody with you. There's right. No, there's no harm in showing up and calling, phone a friend and, hey, well, yeah. what would you do? And I've seen our guys do it. They get out. They're not sure. They take a couple pictures, send it to somebody else, and say, hey, what do I do in this situation? So true. half of the recovery is body, Research. bodies on the ground, true. and the true. other half is getting the knowledge to do it. We have one guy, um, Dave, that likes to talk about every one of these being a puzzle. And yeah. you got to get out there, take a look at the situation, evaluate it, put the pieces of the puzzle together, and figure out how to do it. When, when we generally have a photo... Uh, we have the uh, the owner take photos of their rig and send it to us. And when you went out there on that transit van when we did, that was, what was the name of the video? It was uh, uh, something about No brakes and plenty of gas. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. I'll put the link on here. But we saw what the van it was. We right. knew what we were dealing with. And it, that kind of knowledge ahead of time with a little bit of preparation helps a lot. A lot. Uh, one area where we need to start doing some research is electric vehicles. Wow, good call. Yeah. Uh, I have not recovered a Tesla yet. 
I have not recovered a Rivian yet, and electric vehicles are going to get more common, and I have a feeling, I, I don't know if the connection points are the same, but as a group, we got to get on it. We do yeah. have some tow truck guys on the group that they can educate us. Is that a tease for a future video of a Tesla I, recovery? I hope not. <laughs>